So for this pattern, because the cable, you will need either a cable needle or a double pointed needle. So this pattern is worked on 24 stitches for just the cable. Then you put it on a background of reverse stockinette. So I have 10 reverse stockinettes on either side of my 24 stitch cable. So to get started, on the right side of your work, you're going to purl your reverse stockinette. So now for row one of the cable, you're going to start off by purling two. Then you're going to do a cable four back. So you're going to slip the next two stitches onto your cable needle or double pointed needle and you're going to hold it in the back of your work. Then you're going to knit the next two on your left needle. And you're going to knit the two on your back needle. Then you're going to purl four. and you're going to do a cable four back again. So we're going to slip the next two stitches onto our needle and hold in the back. Then we're going to knit the two from our left needle. And we're going to knit the two from our back needle. Then we're going to purl four. Then we're going to do our cable four back again. So slip the next two stitches and hold in the back. Knit the next two. Knit the two off your cable needle. And we're going to finish off our pattern with a purl two. Then you just continue working your reverse stockinette. Now for row two and all even rows, you're just going to knit the stitches how they lie on the needle. So on the back row you're going to knit all your reverse stockinette stitches and when it comes to your pattern you're going to knit your knit stitches and purl the purl stitches. So if they're sitting on your needle as a knit stitch you're going to knit it. And if they're sitting on your needle as a purl stitch with the bump on the back you're going to purl it. And this is what you're going to do on every other row on the wrong side of your work. So just remember to purl the purls, the bump stitches, and knit the knits, the flat stitches. So for row three, after you purl your reverse stitches, we're going to start off by purling one then we're going to do a cable three right. So you're going to slip the next stitch, our purl stitch, onto our cable needle and you're going to hold it in the back. Then you're going to knit the next two stitches. And you're going to purl the one on your cable needle. After that, we're going to do a cable four left. So you're going to slip the next two stitches 
on your cable needle and you're going to hold them in the front. Then you're going to purl the next two stitches from your left needle. And then you're going to knit the two off your cable needle. And now you're going to do a cable for right. So you're going to slip the next two stitches and you're going to hold them in the back. Then you're going to knit the two from your left needle. And then you're going to purl the two from your cable needle. Then you're going to repeat that once more. So we're going to start back with our cable four left and we're going to slip our next two stitches and we're going to hold them in the front. Then we're going to purl two from our left needle and then you're going to knit the two off your cable needle. And now we're going to do a cable four right and we're going to slip the next two stitches onto our needle and hold them in the back. And then we're going to knit the two stitches from our left needle. And we're going to purl the two from our cable needle. Then we're going to do a cable three left. So we're going to slip our next two stitches onto our cable needle and hold them in the front. And we're going to purl one from our left needle. And we're going to knit the two from our cable. And then we're going to purl one. And then we're going to purl our reverse stockinette side stitches. Then for row five, after you've worked your reverse stockinette, we're going to start with a cable three right. So you want to slip your next stitch and hold it in the back of your work. You want to knit the two off your left needle. And you want to purl the one on your cable needle. Then we're going to purl three. Then we're going to do a cable four front. So you want to slip the next two stitches and hold it in the front of your work. Then you want to knit the next two on your left needle. And you want to knit the two off your cable needle. Then we're going to purl four. Then we're going to do a cable four front again. So you want to slip the next two stitches onto your cable needle and hold it in the front. You want to knit the next two on your left needle. 
and you want to knit the two off your cable needle. Then you want to purl three. Next we're going to do a cable three left. So you're going to slip the next two stitches and hold them in the front. You're going to purl one off your left needle and you're going to knit the two off your cable needle. And then you're just going to continue with your reverse stockinette stitches. For row 7, after you've worked your reverse stockinette, we're going to begin with a knit 2. Purl 3. Then we're going to do a cable 3 right. So you're going to slip the next purl stitch and you're going to hold it in the back of your work. Then you're going to knit the two off the, your left needle. And then you're going to purl the one from your cable needle. Now we're going to do a cable four left. Flip the next two stitches onto your cable needle and you're going to hold them in the front of your work. Then you're going to purl the next two off your left needle. And then you're going to knit the two off your cable needle. Now we're going to do a cable four right. So you're going to slip the next two purl stitches onto your cable needle and you're going to hold them in the back. Then you're going to knit the two off your left needle. And then you're going to purl the two off your cable needle. Then you're going to do a cable three left. So you're going to slip the next two stitches onto your needle and you're going to hold it in the front of your work. Then you're going to purl one from your left needle and you're going to knit the two off your cable needle. Then you're going to purl three and knit two. Then you're just going to continue with your reverse stockinette. For row nine, after you've done your reverse stockinette, we're going to start off by knitting two. Purl three. Knit two. Purl three, then we're going to do a cable four back. So we're going to slip the next two stitches onto our cable needle and hold it in the back of our work. Then we're going to knit the next two from our left needle. And then we're going to knit the two off our cable needle. Then we're going to purl three. Knit two. Purl three. And knit two. 
Then we're going to continue on our reverse stockinette. For row 11, after you've done your reverse stockinette stitches, you're going to start off by knitting 2, purl 3, and then we're going to do a cable 3 left. So we're going to slip the next two stitches and hold in the front. We're going to purl one from our left needle. And we're going to knit the two from our cable needle. Now we're going to do a cable four right. So we're going to slip the next two stitches onto our needle and hold it in the back. We're going to knit the two off our left needle and we're going to purl the two off our cable needle. Now we're going to do a cable four left and we're going to slip the next two stitches onto our cable needle and we're going to hold it in the front of our work. Then we're going to purl two from our left needle. And we're going to knit the two off our cable needle. Now we're going to do a cable 3 right. We're going to slip our next purl stitch onto our cable needle and hold it in the back. We're going to knit the two from our left needle. And we're going to purl the one from our cable needle. Then we're going to purl three. Knit two. And then just continue our reverse stockinette. For row 13, after you've done your reverse stockinette, we're going to start off by doing a cable three left. So we're going to slip the next two stitches onto our cable needle and we're going to hold it in the front. We're going to purl one from our left needle. And we're going to knit the two off our cable needle. Then we're going to purl three. Then we're going to do a cable four front. So we're going to slip our next two stitches and we're going to hold them in the front of our work. We're going to knit the next two off our left needle. And then we're going to knit the two off our cable needle. Then we're going to purl four. Then we're going to do a cable four front again. So we're going to slip our next two stitches and hold them in the front. We're going to knit the next two stitches from our left needle. Then we're going to knit the two from our cable needle. Then we're going to purl three. Then we're going to 
going to do a cable three right. So we're going to slip our next stitch onto our needle and hold it in the back. We're going to knit the two from our left needle. And we're going to purl the one from our cable needle. Then you're just going to continue with the reverse stockinette. For row 15, after we've done reverse stockinette stitches, we're going to start off by purling one. And then we're going to do a cable three left. So we're going to slip our next two stitches and we're going to hold them in the front of our work. And we're going to purl one from our left needle. And we're going to knit the two from our cable needle. Then we're going to do cable four right. So we're going to slip our next two stitches and hold them in the back. We're going to knit the two off our left needle. We're going to purl the two off our cable needle. Then we're going to do a cable four left. So we're going to slip our next two stitches onto our cable needle and we're going to hold it in the front of our work. We're going to purl the next two from our left needle. And we're going to knit the two from our cable needle. We're going to do a cable four right, so we're going to slip our next two stitches onto our needle and hold it in the back of our work. We're going to knit the two off our left needle, and then we're going to purl the two off our cable needle. Then we're going to do a cable four left, so we're going to slip our next two stitches onto our needle and hold it in the front of our work. We're going to purl the next two off our left needle. And we're going to knit the two off our cable hook, our cable needle. Then we're going to do a cable three right. So we're going to slip our next stitch and we're going to hold it in the back. We're going to knit the two off our left needle. We're going to purl our one on our cable needle. And then we're going to purl one. Then you're just going to continue with your stockinette across. For row 16, your final row, you're just going to knit the stitches how they lie by knitting the knits and purl the purls. Once you've completed your 16 rows, you will have the start of your cable. So this section right here is one cable and then you repeat it from there up. This cable is a little more intricate than most, but I think the end result is fantastic and I think it's worth worth the extra work. So if you try this out, please send me pictures. I would love to see how yours turned out. Make sure you learn this stitch because there may just be a project coming up soon. And don't forget, all instructions are written out down below in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.